stop slumping off on me. Benny, go away, you drunk. Not again.
old boy. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Okay, yes. I wish he'd left some booze for us. I'm parched. Hope your friend's still breathing. He's very quiet. Here, just a little. Gonna start small here. Not just a little wager. Jesus, you play like my grandmother. Here. Uh, I'll call. Check. And another check. Why don't that surprise me? Ah, crap. Err. That's more like it. <whistles> nice. Keep it going. Lucky. This has been quite the eventful day.
Sure. Let's be brave, all in. You go all out, don't you? Let's see then. Man, I got Shit. lucky. This one is mine, I'm afraid. Damn it. Hey! <laughs> Impressive. Ah. Come on. Damn it. Sorry about that. You worry about your own game. I must say, you have a lot less stories than your friend did. Nah. That's all I got. Okay. Have some fun here. Somebody put on his big boy pants this morning, huh? I'm gonna go all in. I'll happily take all that off your hands. Have a look. The same what you call finishing strong. All right for some. Huh. Well, shit. <laughs> okay. Not again. Glad I ain't in your seat. Well, this is proper sport, eh, friends? go you're bluffing not for me let's start this low for now No. All right, let's see him. Damn, I thought I had that. I thought I had this it. This is more like it. What the hell is this? It all counts, huh? Okay, back in it. I'll give you that one. The people we've met at this table, huh, Marvin? Check. Nah. I know. It ain't too exciting. Gonna start small here. That's it. Okay, then. 
Ah, crap. Hmm. Ah, I'll take it. That's more like it. Well, okay. Let's see what each of us is made of. On the inside of me. Hmm. Here. Anybody here to play? Well, look at you. All in. We got ourselves a real player. Mm. That's it. Don't laugh. You're sitting pretty, huh? Mm. No. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's a decent hand. All right. This is the opposite of amusing. Maybe you should quit while you're behind. <laughs> I must say, you have a lot less stories than your friend did. Now we got a game going. I'm a call. Come on, play a little. I'm a play slow. Oh, come on. Crazy. This ain't kid poker. No. No. How do you like this? There. Nothing. I'm enjoying this. Damn. Better than nothing. Maybe you boys should just call it a day now. Man, good for you. A clever cheat. I kind of admire it. This is a fine old time. The best. Let's start this low for now. Mm. I like it. Nah. This is starting to get dull. How about that? Uh... All right, what do we got? That's all I got. All right for some. Nice! Ah, you won with that? <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down! Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me. I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot? A priest wandering about? Sure. We saw him. 
smelt him and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. I look kind of crazy, mister. Oh, you have no idea. Back to it, boy. Here. Get your hands off him! Say to me. I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands! Oh, you're done. You bastard! I'll kill you both! You're going down! Oh my god, you killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Hey you! Get back here! Please, don't hurt anyone. What you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. On well, second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Okay, here, just take it. Just just please let me go. to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Help me or we're both to... You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? <sighs> Close the drapes. Ah! 
Don't mind if I do. You shut up. I was wondering when he'd show up. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just... The usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. How are you? I wouldn't say I'm merry as a marriage bell. It'll pass. Found the old Driscoll's hideout, but home. Well, so long as we're hitting them. Hey, I think. We roasted you alive, but hey. Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. He said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had to. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Blown in. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there. Badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, right. I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. Oh, what am I gonna do? 
You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. <laughs> Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Here with us. Oh, thing is so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You gonna freeze your acorns off dressed like that. Get it up. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the uh, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Oh. Where is it? Oh. Oh. No. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Przestań. Już nie mam siły. Ah! Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. No have money, but, but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's... It's Warsawa, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. Don't even speak English. It's very valuable, good? Not good yet. Oh, no. Yes, 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 yes. Nie rób tego! I need! I must eat! Proszę! Okay. That should about cover things.
You chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, I want to talk to that fella over there. Nah, I'm just here to work for the season. Are you Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. 
So long, long sharks. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Tell you where it is. Come on, this ain't God right. damn treasure hunt. You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Blow me down. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Well, this is real uncharacteristic. I promise.
Yep. Miss Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? Uh, nuh uh. You have any idea of the hole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got! I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn murder! Son of a bitch! Uh, uh, please! Uh, Dumbass.
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Same chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. Hey, Arthur. Jose. You want to go hunting? What? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big 
loudmouth bastard tried to rob me was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Oh, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Don't be scared of him. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. All right, boy. There, boy. Okay. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
that's fine. partner you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse i hope so well i don't sell anything other than good animals you have my word on that here are your papers and on me a new grooming brush and some treats <laughs> appreciate it all right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. You won't know till you get in the saddle. Beef, pork, venison, all right here, folks. Are you going to announce that new horse of yours or not? This way. Come on. Hop on up there. Let's go. Easy, boy. You're okay. Let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, hey, partner. what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Okay, I think we need to head right up here.
Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. You just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Alan, you get a set up. I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. Ugh. You ready? Oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. 
<sighs> so, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. Grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear okay. meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay, let's go. Yeah. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones. Any sign of him? Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. He sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. A, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Uh, 
Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? I seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. We you at here? Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> uh. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! That's good. Okay. Trail. Don't seem close. Okay, where are you?
Yep. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. 
Be fine. One of us now. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. And Abigail. You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Thanks, Pierce. Getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hi there, Arthur. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Johnston. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. This should be some real good eating. Thank you. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Herr Morgan. 
The preacher, I remember. Soon, please. Yeah, yeah. Morgan. Getting to where we need supplies for an army. Good job, Arthur. Don't you have anything warmer to wear? Hi there, Arthur. You okay? You know, Arthur, it's the illness of romantics. What is? Hope. Hope is. It's 
still reading? I've taken a break. But yes, I plan to keep reading. Is it, uh, fun? It's amazing. Go through a lot of food in this camp, huh, Arthur? Careful. I saw mice on them earlier. 